Hello. Um, this is going to be a watercolour, this one, because it's a really pale picture. It's on an icy planet, and it's the uh, these fonticular plants. Fonticular lapida, apparently. Uh, the emerald ones, I think, because they were a bit green. So my analysis has led me to believe that they are emerald ones. Although there is, there is a turquoise variant, but I think these have got too much actual green on in this picture. This picture's by Rini, she probably knows, but she's, she's not said a lot about it. So at uh, this planet, it's a uh, uh, nitrogen atmosphere, icy planets. So you've got with the nitrogen, you've got that, that almost earth-like colour atmosphere, but it, it's, it's a little bit purpler in this planet. I kept adding purple to the blue in the sky because I knew it was going to dry lighter as well. So I wanted it to sort of have a little bit of a deeper colour. Still not quite as deep at the top as it was in the screenshot, but I'm not too worried. I enjoy drawing the curvy, curvy shapes of the ice cream plants. I'm better off drawing round things uh, and not very accurate with straight lines, but I'm okay with doing squiggly shapes. So I quite like making things look round. These are quite round and I, and I feel happy about the way I could show the light on them to make them look extra round. <laughs> This is not rocket science, is it? <laughs> so I drew them out and then I coloured them in. Uh, I like using the watercolour pencils because unlike a lot of pencil crayons, you can actually put chalk over the top of watercolour pencils because they're made of different stuff. Well, they're mostly made of pigment. So, and you obviously, you're going to put a bit of water on them and that sinks into the paper. So there's still a key in the surface of this watercolour paper for the chalk to go onto. Just lightly on the ground to give that kind of gravelly appearance and uh, the icy lumps of rock sort of strewn about and then the the saplings if you like the little young seedlings of the ice cream plants growing up I did them right at the end because I was kind of aware that they were so delicate and, and pale that I would scuff them with my elbow that and the little planet for the same reason that distant planet my plan was to try and just do the rings of the planet in the watercolour paint but it was so faint that it faded away so I had to go over it anyway. I used the white chalk pencils and it, it looked all right I suppose. <laughs> it's the least good bit to be honest. I'm not terribly good at doing rings because it means you've got to do a straight line basically but I had a bash at it. Uh, I'm out exploring at the moment right out in the galactic core and some of the planets you go to they've got the most amazing coloured atmospheres and these fantastic fungoida and it's just they're just beautiful and so varied. I really miss it when I'm not doing it. I mean, I couldn't do it all the time, but it's, it's always there drawing you back. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching and I'm bound to do another one soon.